There are so many mobs in here. No wonder this is called infested tower. It is infested. Hello and welcome to episode well, 12 of this amazing series. And I'm laying down again. Before we begin video, be sure to check out our host BerryBite. They are a very reputable and very good host. And let's begin. So this is just in between the episodes, like stuff, you know, that I record that will be after the intro but before the video. I found this, a Colosseum, so I want to check out it with you guys. Col Colosseum? Isn't it Colosseum, like, written differently? Ah, whatever. There seems to be kind of some kind of spawner, so let's get there and see what happens. That's one big phantom and no... Hold on, what? I'm confused. Spawner phantom. So it spawns a phantom with a skeleton on it. Is it all? Well, I was expecting something more. So, on off time, you know, when I'm not recording video, I got almost all the resources for the black eye. Almost. What we are missing is fish oil, which we need blobfish, which I have no luck finding. So, as you can see, in this mess of chests, there's a lot of random fishes everywhere. I've been trying to fish the blobfish to make fish oil so I can oil myself up, which doesn't sound so good right now, but you know. Notice my microphone is a bit louder than usual, so hold on. Yeah, now it should be a bit better. And also, I got a sharpness 6 on our sword and efficiency uh, 4 and fortune 4 on our pickaxe. So yeah, upgrades. And the acrobat and chan on both of those things. And I think that's... Yeah, and respiration 3. And look at here. I got portal to Everdown and portal to Everbright. So yeah. I guess we get content for the next episode, but first I want to go and raid the dungeon we started last episode. Alright, and I got the ender chest. There's too much noises here. So I got the ender chest which you can access from your inventory so you don't have to place it. So that's gonna come in handy when we need for example shield. And we just put it outside and that that. And recall potions. Everywhere I go there are sounds, but you get the point. Let's do this. So first time there was a lot of mobs. And this time hopefully wait spawner dinner bone what? Cave spider. Hopefully this time we can run and disable spawners before the spawners spawn a lot of stuff. At least that's my idea. And what is this? Could there be something under that? Doesn't look like it. Oh and I already am hearing mobs. Chest here. Curse of Blight. Plants will wither and die around your pet. But why? What's the point of that enchant? Like, I understand that some uh, enchants need to be negative, but that is like half of the pet enchants are negative. And so far, just mediocre loot here. Oh, who is that? Mountainer? Well, you are a new villager we've seen and. Huh? What am I seeing? Why are you upside down? Well, I'm not gonna care about the dinner bone. I'm just gonna break the spawner and empty our inventory. But those are... What are those? I don't see what are those. It doesn't say when I hit them. I mean, I guess they are normal skeletons. Apart from that, nothing special. How can you shoot each other like you are upstairs? I mean upstairs, on the ceiling, and still you manage to fight each other. You are on opposite side of ceilings, my dudes. But when you need to snipe me from like 50 miles away, no problem, right? Right. And they are just fighting each other on the ceiling. I mean, I don't mind that. I can clear you out easier, but looks like they have punch on their bows, because look at this. They are still missing. And do you want to fight me? Goodbye. Bye bye. Oh, it's not bye bye. So many wither skeletons. 
Good thing we got the better armor recently. So that can help us a lot. And we're getting a lot of diamond swords, which I don't mind because, you know, we can create more sharpness swords if we want for whatever reason. Haha, you are stuck. Bye bye. And there's the spider on spider coming again. Spider train with 70 HP. Fair fight, fair fight. And no good loot, like for how much this dungeon is hard, it has a really sucky loot. Like imagine you're a normal player with normal gear, not enchanted like we do, and you are trying to do this dungeon. And all you get is chain mail and stuff that, you know, would get you killed here sooner than diamond enchanted armor. I don't understand the logic behind this loot. Hopefully the higher floor will have higher loot. Hello. Oh no, we are getting overrun by spiders. So many of you. Come on, let's clear this spawner out and yeah, a bit of peace. There are so many mobs in here. No wonder this is called infested tower. It is infested, but the loot is not infested with good luck. This is the most sucky loot I ever seen in a dungeon. In such a hard dungeon. Oh, when we got our first uh, unit at least six eyes to use the, uh, this item. In other words, Witherhead. Oh no, how many of spiders and everything is there. There are tanky spiders, there are fast spiders, there are wither skeletons. And my armor is crying right now. Yeah, this is the best spot I can hide on. We also found out a disc called Cricket Song. And I'm not hearing anything. What are my music options? Weather off. Yeah, jukebox is just 50. Still nothing. Indeed, those are cricket noises. Oh, I hear them. Such nice ambience noise. Well, that just happened. Not good at all. Hopefully nothing got corrupted. Time to see the truth. Looks like nothing have crashed so far. Or the items lost. Yeah. All looks to be good. Nice. And spiders have unnecessary long reach. And this, this... Look how fast those small cave spiders are. Crazy. All that for not even a good loot. Hello. Oh god. What? Who dropped rainy mood suiting? Okay. Someone is dropping the those discs and I don't mind. What I do mind is my armor getting wrecked here. So many mobs, so many stuff going on. Oh no, so many of those hanging skeletons and fast spiders and everything. Good thing I repaired my armor and to enter another room that I'm gonna get wrecked on, eh? Can I just get up please? Holy sh... <laughs> How many enemies are there? I'm alive somehow. Still. <laughs> You see, even in Protection 4, we almost died in this crazy tower that has nothing but same repeating enemies and same mediocre rewards and crazy fast spiders with long ass reach. Oh my god, I'm getting bombarded again! No, please! No, please! No, thank you! I can climb too! That sounds scary in the next room. Okay, the skeletons are beefing, but we got another disc. Water droplets. Thank you, thank you. Every skeleton and we're dropping the discs. And drums begin to echo in the distance, of course. Looks like the every episode we need to have the undead raid. They just can't live without me. 
Well, obviously they can because, you know, they are dead. It would be really funny if me sleeping this off would cancel the raid on me. This is my view every few floors. Just climb up in corner, fight them and collect the loot and break spawners. The most boring dungeon we could ever find. Indeed, spiders, indeed. Yeah, I think I might drop this dungeon because there's literally nothing interesting in it. Just skeletons, spiders, super fast spiders and more skeletons and super fast spiders and same rooms over and over and again like, you know, if it would be something different or some interesting loot we can find, then I would be up for it. But looks like we reached the top. Oh, and there's a lot of, a lot of chests here, so maybe there's gonna be some good loot here too. And of course the undead army needs to approach when I reach the roof, so the spawners and the mobs can spawn without any issues, right? That's just perfect. But hopefully those guys are down there and I won't be bothered by them because... I am really not in a mood to fight Undead Army, they are not worth it at all. So let's check the loot we get from those, okay, cooked pork chop, first time in our gameplay I guess, uh, a lot of diamonds and a lot of generic stuff, which again, I don't mind, generic stuff is good, knockback, more diamonds, more generic stuff, and even more generic stuff. And some coal and what can you find here even more generic stuff respiration eh, we have respiration nothing good so far that just you know it's better than what we already have if this was on the top i could have just piled up up to the top and you know just get out of this loot without having to repair my armor a few times so yeah, that's that. This is the tower. I guess the custom dimensions will be more interesting than this. And we are at height limit. Oh, that's interesting. Done. Screw that tower. It's time to enter Everdown or Everbright. I don't know. I like this Everbright more. So let's see where this leads us. Six eyes worth of power to enter. Oh, come on, man, come on, why is everything locked behind the eyes? Well, that was a uh, letdown. I can go simply destroy those portals because we, you know, we can't enter them. Because I need six eyes. Or in other words, all of those eyes. But I already have pain in the back with getting fish oil for the black eye. Uh, Halloween candy, you know, also RNG to get corrupted eye. This RNG, RNG, uh, I sh uh, searched for this in biome locator, found zero biomes in 10,000 blocks. This, I have no idea what it is, it's, you know, some other stuff. And yeah, requires a lot of, uh, a lot of, lot of great stuff. And then here we have maybe more obtainable eye, which sounds like the easiest one. And yeah, treasure tooth dropped by treasures, like this is some kind of water stuff. And again, RNG, this maybe we can craft. And this maybe we can get this episode. Oh, we can go explore that, that uh, sea temple I found. Right, that's gonna be a good episode. And this too. Potted Flutter. What the hell is Potted Flutter? What the hell is Flutter? Uh, this item can be obtained by right-clicking a tame Flutter using a pot and then picking it up by shift right-clicking it. Flutter spawns in lush caves. Ow. Oh, okay. And looks like we're gonna need to have a beef with our favorite mutant creature, the mutant creeper, because we need a mutant chart. Of course we need a something from the most destructive mutant creature days. What is a random child doing all the way out here? Like, the boats are there. 
This is unloaded area. How did you even get here? Well, I guess we got a companion with us on this adventure. He's gonna guard our boat and yeah, just looks nice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are reaching our destination. That actually looks so damn amazing and scary at the same time because it's way bigger than just, you know, whatever default Minecraft has. And we are back here. We set up a waypoint. Uh, we got our slippers to replace our bunny hoppers. And yeah, I guess we are ready to go. We got respiration tree, so our water or oxygen should last for a while. And in the worst case scenario, we can refill it with the torches I have in my hands. And how do we get inside? I don't see an official entrance. Is this it? Looks like it is. And if you're wondering how are we gonna refill our oxygen with torches, this is the way, the old school way. Oh, I think I found a way inside. So far looks pretty peaceful. Let's refill our oxygen really fast. And somehow we got a trident, which I'm not complaining. I don't see any enemies around here, so... Maybe that is a good sign? Is there something around there? Nope. We go up here, I guess. And we entered another room. Which seems to be... Yeah. Where we set up our teleporter. I'm just confused. Where are all the enemies? When I first came here, I seen the... How do you call them? I seen the... Guardians. But now all I am seeing is empty water temple, which... Don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just weird that there are no enemies in a rather, you know, serious dungeon. But then again, free sponge for us. Without a fight. I don't know where we will use sponge, but for something we will gonna need it. I'm 100% sure. Oh, our first chest. Let's see. A lot of nothing. I was expecting something more. Now imagine if we drained all of this and made it into our base. Wouldn't that be amazing? And I think this is a place for a conduit to be placed. Yeah. Imagine all of this drained and we move in here. That would be a big project probably requiring an episode of its own. I'm honestly surprised by the lack of everything. This was a small hole I went into, which I suppose should be where the Elder Guardian is, but I'm not sure what happened to him. Yeah, I came through this small hole and... I don't know. I feel like I broke something that I found it and I didn't explore it right away. Oh, look who spawned! Mr. Guardian! Oh, look who spawned Mr. Guardians! What the hell? Look, look, look around the map. Mr. Many Guardian spawned. Did I trigger something? Because you weren't here before, my dude. Oh, here they are. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't like them now. I prefer this place when it was peaceful. A much more nicer company. I just realized I somehow entered the entrance of this water temple, so that's not where we wanna be. Oh yeah, our safe area that we got a lot of sponges, guess what, it's no longer safe area. It's danger a lot. So I just realized my recording software didn't record, my absolutely getting destroyed, so I'm gonna try with this crazy movement, demonstrate to you again. So what did I say is up there is a crazy area full of enemies and look at this, I can't really see my screen from all of the enemies. Yeah, thank you recording software for recording this time, and for you know, not saying, no, I won't record. Yeah, the only good thing around here is a lot of things break line of sight, so I can somehow survive, I guess. Oh, we weren't here on this side. Yes, we managed to survive. 
don't laser me please thank you again my recording button doesn't seem to work it's like it's not registering but looks like we found x lotl cage with a lot of x lotl in isn't the brown one like the rare one or is it blue one or gold one or i don't know which one is rare the best part about x lotls is i don't know what they are even used for like i didn't follow up updates i just know they exist and that's that and somehow I realized I did a full circle and turned out on the other side of the entrance. Nice. I don't know, I'm a bit disappointed with this water temple. I mean, it looks amazing, don't get me wrong. But where are the big boss guys? I didn't encounter a single one. I just encountered millions of normal ones. And hello, you grown up. Waiting me. English, right. Well, that tower, tower, water dungeon, water temple was a bust. So I decided I'm gonna grind the stuff on my own. And yeah, I don't mean spawn them in, but grind on my own. The boring bits. And then when we get a new content, like the new dun dun dimension or a boss fight, or anything interesting, you know, we are gonna get back. So, whew, imagine this is like time travel, blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Woo, stay awesome.